Hello, hello everyone, it's me, that divination witch. I hope you're all doing well. Back with another witchy video and this is another reaction sort of video. Kind of a new series, depends how you guys take it. If there's anything you want me to react to, you know, let me know. YouTube videos, commentaries, TikToks. If it's witchy related and you want my opinion, let me know. Now, this is me reacting to some reddit posts you might have seen them on other areas of youtube where people react to am i the asshole of <laughs> reddit type posts now i follow someone in the tattoo niche because i love tattoos if you can't tell i, I have a lot of them <laughs> and she reacts to am i the a-hole posts and i thought to myself i'm really entertained by these I'm going to do some, but for witchcraft, and I've never seen anyone else do them. So here I am. So yeah, without further ado, let's see. Are you an asshole or not? Let's get into it. And uh, just before I go any further, just to let you know who I am, if you're new here, my name's Sarah. Hello and welcome. I'm that divination witch. This is a safe space here where I encourage people to ask questions. You know, if you've any anything you want to know, let me know. No question's a silly question. Now, if you want to support me, I'd be so grateful if you check out my link tree just below. I've got a shop. I've got my own website now, I've got a Patreon, all sorts going on down there. So if you're interested, please check it out. Thank you. All right, let's get straight into this. I need to read this. I will put a picture on the screen. This is the first example. <laughs> right, am I... Am I... What? W-I-B-T-A for asking my sister to stop casting spells on my daughter. Okay, I, right, maybe I'm old. This is a good first example, not. Maybe I'm old, I don't know what that means. W-I-B-T-A, or anyways, doesn't matter. I, 34 female, all right, she's the same age as me, so, although this was two years ago, still, doesn't matter. Uh, I have a five-month-old daughter, Ella. She's a perfect baby and a miracle rainbow baby who came to us after many miscarriages and infertility battles. That's sad. Bless her. My sister, 28 females, recently become a practice in which she casts, casts spells, summons the dead, uses crystals. She's battled mental health her whole life, I can honestly say. Uh, since she has been into this, she's doing much better. So I try and be respectful as possible to her beliefs. All right. That's good. That's good. Since my infertility issues started, my sister started casting spells and giving me bottles of herbs or crystals to help. She now gives my daughter crystals and does the same for her, genuinely believing it's helpful. <clears throat> okay, here's the thing. She's a Christian. She deeply holds the beliefs laid out in the Bible. I'm not perfect, but I truly try to live life as I believe God would want. That includes loving others. It also includes having no idols before God. And because of that, I believe it's a sin to practice witchcraft and have always been uncomfortable with her using her practice on me or my children. Well, uh, hang on just a sec. You were comfortable when it was you. Just saying. Uh, I never shame my sister for her beliefs. I listen. Uh, but the fact is, I'm really bothered by it as I believe it's displeasing God and it's a sin and I'm worried if I tell her she'll flip out uh, or it will set my mental health back a long way. I don't know what that means. If I told my sister, would I be, oh I know what it means now, would I be the asshole? <laughs> if I told my sister, practicing witchcraft on her daughter, my family makes me uncomfortable and, and asked her to stop. Okay. And she uses the term witch. I mean, just to quickly say witch, I use the term witch to reclaim the term because I'm sick and tired of people using it in a derogatory way, to BS, to use it in that way. It was never uh, originally meant in that way, you know. But besides that, okay, a lot to unpack here. This person is religious and that's fair enough. She's respecting her sister and what her sister wants. But she doesn't want her sister to do whatever for her and her kid. And that's fair enough, actually. I don't think she's an asshole for that. Uh, for that side of things, I don't think she's an asshole. You know, for saying, look, look, love, <laughs> if that was my sister and I wasn't comfortable 
I'd be saying, look, love, it makes me a bit uncomfortable. It's not what I believe in. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you're okay and your mental health's doing better, but it's not for me. And that's fair enough. And if they truly have this mutual respect for one another, then cool, great. But I will add a caveat that you will be an a-hole and she doesn't allude to this at all. But if you pray for her or if you put your beliefs onto her, you clearly believe it's a sin what she's doing and you think that it's going against God. And I mean, that's fair enough. You wouldn't do that and you don't want that around you. That's okay. That's It is what it is. But if you then say to your sister, I think it's wrong if you started to push your beliefs onto her, then you'd be an asshole. Uh, and if you tried to say that she was committing a sin, well, you would be an asshole. It's okay to believe that yourself, but keep it to yourself, you know. So you want your sister to keep her stuff to herself, well, you keep your stuff to yourself is what I'd say. So as long as that's the case, then no, you're not an asshole. Each to their own, you know. It's like I wouldn't push my beliefs on anyone else. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. That's the first one. <laughs> We're off to a great start. I've learned what an abbreviation is. Well, one abbreviation. Right, next example. Am I the asshole for joking that a girl is making people attracted to her because she's doing witchcraft? And people have voted this person an asshole. Right, relatively new addition to our friend group who in the span of six months has made everybody in the group except a married friend of me have a crush on her or some type of infatuation. I'll refer to her as S. Oh, <laughs> I would get this if she was some sort of supermodel, but she's very plain looking. And if not a bit on the odd looking side, like a discounted version of the singer Lord, if you know who that is. All right. Yeah, straight away. You're already an asshole in my book. Sorry. Who are you to judge someone's looks? Like, are you perfect? Are you Brad Pitt? I don't know. He's not perfect anyways, but... Who are you? Discounted Lord, shut up. Uh, granted, she's very funny, holds a conversation well. Oh, good to know. Good to know that you approve of that. <laughs> and her upper body's nice. Uh, and I'm talking a guy friend of mine who's incredibly superficial and has rejected girls over chip nails. Well, okay, that's, you know, that's uh, misogynistic much. <laughs> Uh, even my best friend, who's a straight woman who has never had any interest in women, somebody gushing about her, wondering if she should ask her out. Well, good for her. You know what? She sees a classy woman. Fucking sorry for swearing, but go for it. You know, <laughs> like maybe the problem is this person. Just to clarify, I'm not jealous. I am just stupefied. That's a Harry Potter spell. That that's not a real word stupefied. I'm sure that's not a real word. I'm sure that's just in Harry Potter, my love. I have zero attraction to any of the friends mentioned and I am not jealous. She's getting a romantic attraction as I do not want it. I am just in disbelief. Well, not much disbelief you're posting on Reddit, love, and judging her. So I think you're affected in some way. Well, yesterday we were having drinks and talking when you the conversation turned to nationality stereotypes. Oh, okay. Sorry if this is offensive. Uh, like being expected to watch manga when you're Japanese. Well, you wouldn't watch manga actually because manga is the written books. It's like a comic book and the anime is what you'd watch. It's the animation of the manga. So yeah, you don't know that much. Uh, to like cheese and wine because you're French. And S said that a popular stereotype about women from her country is that they do witchcraft to make people fall in love or to succeed. I laughed and said, oh, that explains why you have so many admirers and why people are attracted to you, you witch. <laughs> and that was it. The mood wasn't weird and nothing was said as the conversation continued. After we were done and I was leaving, a friend approached me and said I was rude. Well, you were, that's why. Who, who are you? You just called her a name? Nutter, uh, then texted and told me I was not funny and need to apologise. I don't think I've said anything offensive. I don't believe in witchcraft, even though it would be a pretty good explanation. Well, you've just said stupefy, so you must believe in Harry Potter. <laughs> I think my friends are a bit biased because of their varying levels of infatuation, which makes them see that as some great transition instead of just joke when we were laughing what so am i an asshole for making a very obvious silly remark well yes you are because it's not obvious it's silly 
granted, but it's not obvious. Who are you to call a random woman a witch? All right, you're talking about racial stereotypes. I don't know this woman's race. Uh, I'm assuming, um, and it's a big, broad assumption here, but maybe I'm assuming the person in the post is American. So maybe this person's Latina or uh, a, a, a person of color. Uh, that's what I'm assuming from what they said because I know that Bruja uh, is, you know, very prevalent within those cultures. And that person has every right if they are part of that culture to make that joke. Like, haha, people think that. Like, all right, whatever. But you shouldn't be saying that. But also, even if even if they were a bloody witch, why why would you assume that they are casting spells on people and all of this? And why does it affect you? If you're genuinely not bothered, if you couldn't give two hoots uh, the way you say you can't give two hoots, then what the heck does it matter? <laughs> like, it doesn't affect you. And clearly, whatever spell it is hasn't worked on you. You're so brainy and you know everything, obviously, and you don't like them, do you? Uh, yeah, you are an a-hole. That's my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what your opinion is. I think that's just a narrow-minded person, personally. And stupefy, I am pretty sure that is not an actual word. Okay, next one. Am I the asshole for giving my friends crystals without doing any research? Oh, bless them. I'm already sensing a no, and people have voted a no. But let's read. So me, 17 female, and my friends, I'm not going to say all of that, have this tradition where every 20th of December, we give each other silly or just small Christmas gifts. That's cute. <laughs> this summer, T and V started hanging out with a new girl in their school, and they invited her to hang out with us. She's really friendly and chill person who also likes witchcraft and similar stuff. We invited her to celebrate the early Christmas on 20th and she agreed. Don't know if these people even realise that that's basically yuletide, what they're doing. But okay. My idea on gifts was something like a little treasure chest with chocolate coin and small crystal. I chose the crystals by shape and colour and didn't look at the meaning. It looked very cute and I was low-key proud. On the 20th, everyone came to my house in the afternoon. We played board games, simply tried to enjoy the Christmas atmosphere. When giving gifts happened, everyone liked my gift, but E, according to her, said the crystal was incompatible with her sign. It could bring her back bad luck, and why didn't I just ask her for it? I was confused that she said she can just use it for decoration or something. She looked hurt and didn't talk to me the rest of the day. Oh, bless them. And the others tried to ask her without a response. Oh, bless. That's so sweet. No, they're not the asshole. The other person's the asshole, actually. To me, right? It costs nothing to be kind. So even if it wasn't compatible with your sign, <laughs> just say thank you and move on. Even if it's the crappest present in the world, don't be an asshole. Like, that is being an, an ungrateful asshole but the thing is they're kids they're all kids we can all be a-holes especially when we're young and we've got no filter we don't think about other people's feelings so no they're not the asshole i mean when i was young i had crystals at the end of the day all crystals come from the earth i know there's some that are like meteorites and tectites it still comes from the earth even the meteorite it's because it's crashed into the earth uh, unless someone's gone on a moonwalk <laughs> or a space walk, then all these rocks come from the earth, from nature. So even if, you know, at one point a crystal might not gel with us, well, fair enough, stick it on your windowsill, give it to someone else, bury it in the ground, return it to the earth. If it's that big of a deal to you, it comes from the earth, you know, but don't be an a-hole to someone. They're just trying to do a nice thing. I had crystals before I was a witch. I didn't know what they all meant. I still don't know what every single crystal means. Uh, I'm no crystal witch expert. That's not my strong suit. I mean, I know bits and bobs and I use them, but that's not what I'm drawn to. There are people who love crystals just because they look pretty. You don't have to be a witch 
or you don't have to be spiritual even to like crystals. Crystals are beautiful things that come from, you know, a natural thing. It's it's amazing to me how these things are formed underground, these natural byproducts of the planet that we're so lucky to live on, really. So honestly, give her, give her a rock next time. Don't even give her anything, actually. Give her a bag of coal. That's what she deserved. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. All right, my last one for the time being. I'm going to try and do four at a time. I don't want them to be too, too long, but I don't want it to be too, too short either. <laughs> it's just right. <laughs> just like Goldilocks said. Anyways, am I the asshole for not wanting to reconnect with my dead brother? And the votes are not the asshole. So let me know what you think. This is going to be a sad one. So if you want to skip it, I understand. And I'll see you next time, if so. Uh, but if not, stick with me. Let's go. Okay. I, 26 male, lost my brother, 32 male, a month ago in a car crash. We were close friends until he made weird advances to my wife, ex, showing my wife his parts, putting his arm around her family gatherings. Oh, goodness. She expressed concerns about his odd behaviour to my parents countless times, but they dismissed it. Well, I mean, he's a grown adult, just to say that. Uh, a few months ago, he came over to me and my wife's house to help fix a leaking pipe that had been bothering us for ages. During this time, I left to get groceries, came back to my wife telling me he made advances. She declined. I kicked him out. I know it feels weird, but because of what he did... I'm not super heartbroken about his death. My sister, on the other hand, who's 19, was devastated. They always joked about how they were twins because of their birthdays lining up almost exactly. Okay, but there's quite a lot of age gap there, though. Uh, here's why I may be the asshole. My sister recently messaged me. She asked if I could help with something. I agree because family's family. And when I went over to her place, all the lights were off, candles everywhere, like a weird ritual. I knew she was getting into witchcraft, but this is not what I imagined I would be getting into. I asked her what this was all for. She said she was going to contact our dead brother. I'm all for grieving. People grieve differently, but I had to go to work and I told her and she blew up on me. She was saying how I never cared about our brother and how this was important to her, but I left anyway. I didn't want to talk to my brother. Now my parents are getting involved saying I'm selfish and my aunt's on my side saying I'm not in the wrong for leaving. Now that <laughs> I look, I know the grieving, but this sounds very childish. Uh, now my sister keeps sending me my wife calls and messages saying she's going to hex us and call me wife a slut oh lush this is all super stressful for me and my wife seems to be taking a toll on her just a few months ago we found out she's pregnant uh but with my brother dying and crazy sister my wife seems upset and awkward she won't tell me what's wrong even when i try and help now with everything going on we're too scared to tell the family and with what my wife being awkward i don't know if i did something wrong i wish i was joking about all this it sounds crazy but am i the a-hole Oh, there's a lot to unpack there. I think you're childish. I'll be honest. I think you're all childish. And I know it's very sad your brother's died. Even if you were falling out before that, even if he was a perv, even if that was true and he did what he did, you know, someone's lost their life. That's irreplaceable. Uh, but going, I've gone to my parents and she's gone to the parents and all this. What are you doing that for? You're all grown adults. Why can't you just sort it out between yourselves? Why do you have to go run into mummy and daddy? <laughs> That's immature. Now, granted, the little sister, uh, she is a lot younger than both brothers in this case. And still, she's an adult. Now, I think for her, she shouldn't have sprung that on you uh, on the poster. Uh because if you're going to be doing a seance or, I don't know, you know, some form of divination to contact the dead, you need to tell people who you want to involve that you're going to do it. Like, you're springing it on the guy before he's about to go to work. I mean, he's not in the best frame of mind anyways, you know. I, I think that's dodgy. You should have told him beforehand. That's assuming she didn't. And then again, she's running at the parents. And then if she is indeed saying, I'm going to hex you. That's pathetic. Pathetic. 
I think you all need to try and uh, grow up a bit. <laughs> and if it is true what happened, I'm sad for you and your wife. And uh, I hope everything got better. I know that's a few months ago now. I'm talking as if I'm talking to the person. <laughs> but as for the wife and, and the brother, what happened there, I mean, that's inexcusable if that is indeed true. Uh, yeah, you know, but the guy's dead now. He's not with us to defend himself or give his point of view or explain himself or anything. Uh, it's very difficult so I get it if you don't want to talk with him. That's not being an asshole to not want to talk with him, to be upset with him despite him being gone. Doesn't mean that you can't be upset with him. You're not an asshole for that. Your, your feelings are valid. But I think you should handle it more maturely. That's what I'd say. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. There's some things I think you're a bit of an asshole about. Other things, no. Other things, I think other people have been an asshole. I think it's a mess and very immature. That's my opinion. What's your opinion below? <laughs> I don't see really what that's going to do with witchcraft apart from she's uh, going to be doing a seance or something. Well, that's not really a witch thing, but that was in the witchcraft category. So there you go. There's my first ever reaction. If you want to see more reactions, check out my playlist on my channel. I react to other people's videos and TikToks and different things. Check it out. And if you want to learn more about witchcraft, check out my beginner's playlist. I've also got one on Hecate if you're interested in her. <laughs> so if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And remember, stay safe and stay witchy. Goodbye.